back. Richard Rossi is an actor, writer, director, but today he's here to talk about another subject that's important to him. He has started a group called Families Fighting Fentanyl after the loss of someone close to him. And thank you so much for joining us and talking about such a, uh, really a personal subject. But it is your brother who died of fentanyl. Tell me a little bit about your brother. Yeah, my brother, uh, Pete, he's my, ba I call him my baby brother. I'm the oldest of five. And, uh, you know, I literally gave him his bottle as a kid and took care of him. So it feels like losing a brother and a son in a way. Mm -hmm. But he was the fantastic uh, rock and roll guitarist and unfortunately he passed a day after my birthday this year I'm born March 2nd he died March 3rd this year of an overdose of heroin mixed with fentanyl okay and and for those that don't really know about fentanyl give me an idea of how your brother got uh, you know addicted to fentanyl and and what the drug really does because this is also what Prince died from as well it is right? yeah it is and um, I was uh, I have friends that are cl were close with Prince and so here's two to me two very talented musical people a lot of times people with addiction are so gifted my little brother was so gifted but fentanyl is an artificial substance that's, that's literally manufactured and it hooks in the brain and it's so potent um, drug dealers are lacing drugs with uh, fentanyl oh. and um, so it's epidemic um, and I mean, every day we get contacted by people with our, our support group that are, are losing someone. So it's coming in over the, uh, not only over the Mexican border, but people online are ordering it. It's coming out of China. And so a lot of drug dealers, this hooks their, their dependent clients and it, and it just hooks into the brain. Because and, it's so addictive. Yeah, it's so addictive and it's artificial. It's not mm -hmm. even from uh, you know, like a poppy or something that mm -hmm. other drugs are taken from, and it's even more deadly. And I mean, police wear uh, gas masks when they go in and they, mm -hmm. you know, do raids. This stuff's so deadly that even a few grains of it can kill you. So it's, it's really a very serious um, thing we have to fight. And and you're trying to help other families fight this by starting a support group. Tell me about that. Yeah, a couple months ago, I started Families Fighting Fentanyl, and on Facebook, people can just search for that group and join the group. And mm -hmm. almost, almost every day, someone new is posting, I lost my son, I lost mm -hmm. my daughter, I lost my brother. So uh, it's helping us to heal, to share our stories, mm -hmm. and to put our anger somewhere um, in fighting uh, for the uh, you know, the police, trying to help support the police to mm -hmm. get the dealers. And to me, these dealers are like serial killers. I mean, there's just uh, people dropping like flies from it. And, uh, of course, uh, people struggling with addiction, helping them, encouraging them into recovery in Narcotics Anonymous and other programs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And for those, I mean, unfortunately, it's too late for your brother, but you're kind of keeping his memory alive by starting this yeah. group. What, what advice do you have for families that might have a family member that is struggling with this right now? Well, I, I think it's important to not judge them. Um, mm -hmm. You know, my sister um, said to me that, um, you know, Pete, our brother, Op he opened up to me a lot. I knew a lot about what was going on with his addiction, and I was helping, trying to help him, you know, and, and at times he got into these groups and into recovery. But she said, you know, Richard, he opened up to you because you're not, you don't judge. You know, I truly believe judge not lest you be judged. So understand that, that, you know, the first step of the 12 steps is I am powerless over this. So okay. these, you know, I know it's easy to judge them and say they're destroying their lives and they're making these bad choices, but once this hooks into the brain, something this powerful... I mean, they're, they're essentially powerless. Their whole body is craving this, and it really takes a, a miracle from, from God, their, you know, it, as the recovery program says, the higher power to, to help them get free of it. It's just so, so cunning and deadly once mm -hmm. they're hooked on it. Mm -hmm. And we've been showing pictures of your brother oh, that's in, uh, wonderful. with Thank the guitar you. and playing, and, uh, oh. you know, because he was a talented musician. Yeah, he sure was. In fact, on YouTube, uh, all over YouTube are solos of him. Uh, oh, that's great. That's mm. oh, that's uh, me when I was 14 with him, <laughs> when uh, he was a little uh, little baby boy. Yeah. I was 14, and he was probably about eight. Oh, and there he is with his guitar. Yeah. So talented. Um, and we worked on music together, which I cherish. Um, and uh, you know, that's a way to have him live on is when I hear the music we did together. He was so wonderful, and I loved collaborating with him and doing music with him. And hopefully, yeah. unfortunately, through this tragedy, you'll be able to help so many other families, and hopefully they won't have to go through the same situation that you did. Oh, I hope and pray so, Amy. I, I hope so. All right, Richard Rossi, thank you so much for joining us and thank sharing you. such a personal story and to find out more about family.